Hi, and welcome. Today, we're going to do some emotional freedom techniques, also known as tapping to clear abandonment. But first, let's talk a little bit about what situations can make us aban feel abandoned, like infidelity, betrayal. Perhaps our abandonment comes from childhood. So all of these things can be cleared. My name is Dawn Bennett, and I'm an expert. Let's run the show reel, and then we'll get right to the healing. <laughs> Okay, so here's the biggest key when you're going to do this, when you're going to do emotional freedom techniques tapping. First, I want you to think of a really specific situation that makes you feel abandoned. Not all the times that you got left behind or not all the times that someone cheated on you or all the times, right? Because it's too much. It'll emotionally overwhelm you and nothing will change in your brain. So what we want to do is think about the one time, just one time. And you can even make up when it was, like last Wednesday or the time when I was four, right? So just imagine one time, write it down on a piece of paper. What is the situation? How do you feel about it right now? Like, are you angry that you were abandoned? Do you feel sad? Do you feel hopeless? Do you feel worthless? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it right now? Then write that from zero to 10, how strong it is. And then where do you feel it in your body? Okay. And you can just write it down. We're going to do an imaginary example together. Once you run through it with me, or if, especially if you don't know tapping, then you can go back and put in your words. But the nice thing is, is your brain already knows you're working on your situation. So even though you're tapping with me using a different situation, you will actually allow yourself to clear as well can be that easy. Ready? Even though I feel angry. My friend abandoned me when she didn't show up for coffee last week. I accept I feel this way. Even though I feel angry in my stomach. That my friend abandoned me by not showing up for coffee last week. I accept that I feel this way. And even though I feel abandoned in my stomach, that my friend abandoned me by not showing up for coffee last week. I'm open to letting this go. Good. I'm going to tap on the top of your head. I'm feeling angry in my stomach. Good. Tap between your eyes. Feeling angry in my stomach. Good. Side of the eyes, right at the temples. I'm feeling angry in my stomach. Under the eyes. I'm feeling angry in my stomach. Good. Under the nose, I'm feeling angry in my stomach. Under the mouth, between the mouth and the chin, I'm feeling angry in my stomach. Good. Under the collarbones, I'm feeling angry in my stomach. And under the arms, I'm feeling angry in my stomach. Good. Take a breath. And so now normally when you're working with your own stuff, you would look back and say, okay, What's changed? How strong is my anger? Is it still in my stomach or has it moved? Right. And so then you tap on the same situation, clearing all the emotion all the way down until you feel no emotion. It feels neutral and light and like you've forgiven the situation. So, but just for practice, just for repetition, let's just tap again. Side of the hand. Even though I feel sad in my stomach, thinking about how my friend abandoned me by not showing up for coffee last week. I'm open to letting this go. And even though I feel sad in my stomach, thinking about how my friend abandoned me by not showing up for coffee last week, I'm open to letting this go. And even though I feel sad in my stomach, thinking about how my friend abandoned me by not showing up for coffee last week, I accept I feel this way. Good, top of the head, feeling sad in my stomach. Between the eyes, feeling sad in my stomach. Side of the eyes, feeling sad in my stomach. Under the eyes, feeling sad in my stomach. Under the nose, feeling sad in my stomach. Under the mouth, feeling sad in my stomach. Under the collarbones, feeling sad in my stomach. And under the arms, feeling sad in my stomach. Good. So now you can do this. You can do this type of tapping for abandonment over and over again. And guess what? If you're feeling it, you don't even have to say the words out loud. You can literally just tap on the points, 
Just really sink into the feeling, remembering to focus on one situation at a time, because when we focus on one situation at a time, our brain can actually clear the emotion. Whereas once again, if we're thinking about all the times, it's just too much to handle, right? It's just too much to deal with everything at once. So know that your body and your unconscious mind can naturally clear this by doing tapping, by focusing on the positive and being willing to let it go. So thanks for watching. Good luck. I'd love to hear a comment below if you've ever seen tapping before. And if you've used it, just give me a yes or a no. And I will see you next time. Remember that you are love, you are loving, and you are lovable. Bye.